Hello, and welcome to our Thursday devotional. I am Pastor Steve Savage, lead pastor at Grinnell Friends Church. I'm glad you're joining us for this. Look at God's Word. Fears Ungrounded is the title of an article that was published recently, and uh, I want to quote from it this morning. Threaten layoffs at work, drugs and weapons in the schools. We have every right to be fear fearful, right? Maybe not. In Scared to Life, Douglas Rumford cites a study that explains why we shouldn't allow fear to rule our lives. And I quote, 60% of our fears are totally unfounded. They have no basis in fact. 20% are already behind us. 10% are so petty that they don't make any real difference. 4 to 5% of the remaining 10% are real, but we can't do anything about them, so that means that only 5% are real fears that we can do something about. So a lot of our fearfulness is a waste of our time, attention, and our energies. Fear is an amazing thing that can paralyze us, can't it? Overwhelming our senses. This reminds me of something I read years ago. It was an account about a woman uh, in the summertime living out on farm country before air conditioning and went to bed one evening with her window open and the blinds open as well. A little wind was stirring, but it was only blowing hot air anyway. Uh, she laid down to go to sleep, and as she was trying to fall asleep, a storm blew in. It had lots of lightning lighting up the sky, and it had lots of thunder claps. So she lay there awake in the heat with all the noise and light trying to get to sleep. There was a particular loud clap of thunder and bright light that lit up not only the outside but part of her room. And she opened her eyes uh, when she was kind of shocked by it all. And she looked up and she saw this terrible creature, this being which was fiendish, uh, standing in front of the door, uh, very threatening. And she thought, what can I do? She almost screamed before she could hold that in. She lay there as though asleep. Uh, in fear, wondering what in the world she could do to save herself. Finally, after some time had passed, she decided she had to do something. And so she decided she was going to lay hold of her pillow with her right hand and hold on for fierce, with fer uh, ferocity. And then she, in, in a count of three, she was going to jump up, jump out of bed, hit the fiend that was threatening to kill her with her pillow in her right hand, and try and knock him out of the way of the door so she could make her escape. As she did that, on the count of three, one, two, three, she jumped up, and right at that time, there was a bright flash of lightning and a loud clap of thunder, and she it lit up the room so she could see her terrorizer, and lo and behold, it was nothing but her rain parker that she had hung up over the closet door earlier that night. She uh, certainly lost her fear, and was taken over by her foolishness at this whole event. But I think all of us probably can relate to that. Times when we have been afraid of some great trying moment that didn't amount to anything like what we thought. Let me read to you from Psalm 34 verses 1 through 4 today. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Will you join me in a word of prayer? Most precious Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you that you are a loving and merciful God. We thank you that you are our Father in heaven and you stand by us through thick and thin. I'm thankful, Heavenly Father, that you are the God who helps us to face our fears and respond in faith. So I pray that you would help us as we face a lot of fears that don't have a lot of basis in fact and a lot of fears that are past tense but still can worry us and make us fret. And I thank you and praise you that uh, you are the God who goes with us through the times of real fear when we can't do anything about them except to uh, ask you to stand by us and walk with us through these events of life. 
Then finally, there are some situations that cause us fear, and the fear is genuine, and the fear is for good reason. But help us to answer those fears always with our faith in you and in your love and devotion to us, in your mercy and grace, in your help and assistance. We pray that you would cast down our fears and help us to restore them in faith. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day.